Hello everybody, it's that college football guy here in another video. Yeah, um, a few things happened during the course of the week. I don't know if I mentioned this during the weekend. If I have, I apologize for bringing it up again. But um, my son on Wednesday last week got hurt in gym when he was waiting in the weight room. Had a spotter. The bar slipped out of his hand. The spotter wasn't paying attention. The spotter got in trouble. And the bar crashed down my son's left wrist and broke his wrist. So, yeah, he had a cast on there. So, he, you know, been down in the dumps a little bit. So, he got a couple of his friends to come over, watch some college football, had some fun during the house. Didn't realize the fact they were watching football and doing stuff. It was 11 o'clock at night by the time everybody left. So, I was like, oh, I didn't post a video today. But good fun times. Haven't seen, even though my son's got a broken wrist, haven't seen him smile like that in a long time. So, it was well worth it. But... We're going to do a little bit longer recap show here. Well, actually, yes and no. I decided to change the way I do the recaps. Before I did these updates, the college football update, this is the Sunday college football update, I would go through the top 25 and give the stats on all of them and the subscriber schools. And if you lost the game, I went with the winning team anyway. I decided to do this. The only teams I'm going to do stats on are subscriber schools. You're the ones who voted in, put your school on the list, to do something so since you wear the 40 schools you're the only ones who's going to get a stat line so i figured that'd be fair since you're the ones who put your names out there and you get your stats read you have more than anybody other schools go watch this there's enough update shows but this is for my subscribers so let's do some loyalty here so for other games and if you lose a game do not enough if you lose a subscriber school versus subscriber school obviously i'm going to mention the stats of the winning school but if you lose i'm just going to go over the score that's it I'm also with the top 25 is not a score school. I'm just going to go over the school. That's it. Which means starting from now, if there's an FCS school, yeah, I'm actually going to put your stat lines up. So, you're going to see me going a little bit over here to put the papers away. So you're going to see a little bit of the lovely fridge. Um, <laughs> but here in the kitchen right now, because they're kind of eating in the living room right now. Um, Friday games here. They're being quiet, and I appreciate it. Thank you. But, um... Friday games, I said, repeat those. Saturday was going on. Friday games, we had Indiana beat Indiana State 41 7. Kansas beat Illinois 34 23. Impressive win by Kansas. Jalen Daniels 21 29, 277 yards, two touchdowns on an INT. Team rushing 44 carries, 262 yards, and two touchdowns. With Devin Neal having 10 carries for a buck 20 and touchdown. Nice 12 yards of carry. Defensively for Kansas, six sacks, two picks, but no fumble recoveries. And Austin Booker and Jareem Robinson had two sacks apiece. It's an impressive win, all-around impressive game for Kansas. Great win. The Saturday games. Subscriber school, number one, Georgia against Ball State, and Georgia wins 45-3. Carson Beck, 23-30, 283 yards with two touchdowns and a pick. Team rushing, 28 carries for 99 yards and three touchdowns. That's a little underperforming for Georgia's rushing game. Defensively, three picks. Good. No fumble recoveries. Okay. No sacks. How in the blue hell can a Georgia defensive line with that NFL tack can't get a NFL talent can't get a sack against Ball State? Georgia fans, please, my subscribers, what the hell? But uh, Makai Muse, 69-yard punt return touchdown to help out on special teams, so still was a good win, but defensively, that's kind of a question mark I have with that one. Subscriber school matchup, number two Michigan against UNLV. I, I'm not going to go through the point spread stuff I did before. I said UNLV, they were like, they were like 30 plus points. I said UNLV is going to do enough to screw up that point spread and keep running the ball. Yeah, they did because Michigan only won 35 to 7. JJ McCarthy, 22 of 25, 278 yards, two touchdowns, no INTs. Um, Roman Wilson had both of those touchdown receptions. Team rushing, 33 carries for a buck, 177 yards, and three touchdowns. Blake Corn with three rushing touchdowns. For those who understand with those stat lines, if I don't mention the rush passing yardage, if you don't hit a buck, 100 receiving yards, I don't mention 100 receiving yards you have. You have two touchdowns or more receiving, I'll mention that. Rushing touchdowns, you have more than one, I'll mention that, but you got to hit 100 rushing yards. That's how I do it because I want you to make the meaningless stats. If you had, like, you had 17 carries for 31 yards, and this is not Blake Corum, but same example line would be 17 carries for 31 yards and three touchdowns. Just mention the three touchdowns. The 17 for 31 doesn't mean, doesn't mean anything. Defensively for Michigan, five sacks, but no picks or fumble recoveries. Solid win for Michigan. Then the game I was wrong on, but I am so happy I'm wrong, which is the reason why I'm wearing this hat to put some shade on some Alabama fans. 
Texas goes into Tuscaloosa. At number 11, Texas goes into Tuscaloosa. Beats number 3, Alabama, 34-24. to 24. Oh, Queen Ewers, hello. 24-38, 349 yards, three touchdowns, no INTs. Gentlemen, is it Sanders here? Five receptions for 184 yards. Adonis Mitchell had two touchdown receptions. Team rushing 37 carries for 105 yards. That rushing has got to get a little bit better for later on in the year. And I don't even know the Texas fans even know that. That rushing has got to improve. Team defensively, defensively, five sacks, two picks, no fumble recoveries. And Anthony Hill Jr. had two big sacks. So congratulations. Let me go through the kitchen here, put the next paper down, get the next one up. Awesome performance by Texas. And congratulations on beating Alabama. I got the game wrong, but you put a smile on my face. Because every time Alabama loses, I just love every minute of it. Now... <laughs> I'm wrong, and I'll gladly admit I'm wrong, and I'm very happy that I'm wrong. Number four, Florida State blew beat up on Southern Miss 66-13. They're not a subscriber school, but they don't get no mention. Subscriber school, number five, Ohio State beat up on Youngstown State 35-7. Comma court, 14-20, 258 yards, three touchdowns, no INTs, and Marvin Harrison Jr. Why is he a Heisman candidate? Seven receptions for 160 yards and two touchdowns. Gee, I wonder why he's a Heisman candidate. Team rushing, 27 carries for 123 yards and two touchdowns, and Trevion Henderson had both of those rushing touchdowns. Defensively for Ohio State, two sacks, one pick, and no fumble recoveries. But a good win for Ohio State. Subscriber school matchup against USC against Stanford. Well, number five, six, USC blew out Stanford 56-10. Caleb Williams, 19-21 for 281 yards, three touchdowns. No interceptions, but he did have a rushing touchdown in the game. And rushing-wise, speaking of that, 28 carries for 180 yards and four TDs. Defensively, two sacks, one pick, one fumble recovery. And Zachariah Branch had a 75-yard punt return touchdown for USC. So a dominant, exceptional win for USC. Subscriber stool, number seven, Penn State, beat up on Delaware, 63-7. Drew Alarm. Wasn't mentioned as a Heisman candidate, but uh, the, he keeps putting up the numbers he's putting up. By the end of the year, he's definitely going to be in the conversation. 22 of 26, 240 yards, only one touchdown, no INTs, but he had a rushing touchdown later in the game. I'm saying that about Drew Allard. Is, oh, he's not a quarterback. Um, he is improving game by game, and I've been noticing, so he's going to be something. Team rushing, 60 carries, 315 yards, six rushing touchdowns. Jadron Allen, 19 carries for 103 yards and a touchdown. And Nicholas Singleton had three rushing touchdowns. Defensively for Penn State, four sacks, one pick, one public recovery. And Dominic DeLucha had a 26-yard pick six. So dominant win by Penn State. Subscriber school, number eight, Washington, beat up on Tulsa, 43-10. Michael Penix Jr., speaking of a Heisman candidate, 28-38, 409 yards, three touchdowns and an INT. Jalen McMillan, eight receptions for 120 yards and a touchdown. And Rome Adunze, Roma Dunze, seven receptions for 107 yards and a touchdown. Team rushing, 22 carries for 109 yards and three TDs. Defensively, team defense, two sacks, one pick, no fumble recoveries. Dominant, exceptional win by Washington. Now we go to Tennessee. My school. They did not look good in my eyes against Austin P. I mean, number nine Tennessee did beat, did beat Austin P. Thirty to thirteen, but Joe Milton twenty one of 33, 280, 28 yards, two touchdowns, no picks, but he had a rushing touchdown. The only rushing touchdown that Tennessee had, thirty two carries for two hundred twenty eight yards and a touchdown. Jalen Wright had thirteen carries for one hundred eighteen yards, but come on, one rushing TD against this defense, not good. Team defense. This was the only bright spot. Seven sacks, one pick, one fumble recovery, and Aaron Beasley had two sacks. But they got to do better. They're not going to win that many. They're going to only win nine games. Like I said, they would at the beginning of the year. Number 10, Notre Dame, subscriber school against NC State. This game was a lot closer than it looked. It was 24-17 Notre Dame at the end of the third quarter, but they put the gas on, hit, dropped the hammer, and left. Notre Dame beat NC State 45 to 24. Sam Hartman 15 to 24, 286 yards, four touchdowns, no INTs, and Holden Stays, I believe his name is, four receptions for 115 yards and two touchdowns. Team rushing 37 carries, 170 yards and two TDs, and Audric Audric Esteem 14 carries, 134 yards and two TDs. Great game defensively. Team there was Notre Dame three sacks, one pick, no fumble recovery. Um. Put the gas and got on right. It's a good win for Notre Dame. Baylor, I'm not going to go through this, but um, 
you did a competitive game, but unfortunately you lost. Number 12, Utah beat Baylor 20-13. Subscribers go match up again. Number 13, Oregon against Texas Tech. And Oregon beat Texas Tech 38-30. Close game. Bo Nix, 32 of 44 for 359 yards. Two touchdowns, no INTs. Troy Franklin had six receptions for 103 yards and a touchdown. Team rushing, 31 carries for 113 yards and a touchdown. Defensively, four sacks, three picks, and a fumble recovery. And Jeffrey Busa, Bass, uh, Bass, I'm not saying his name right, 45 yard pick six. Uh, number 14 LSU beat LSU. 14 LSU yeah, number 14 LSU beat up on Grambling 72 to 10. Not going into it. Subscriber school number 15 Kansas beat Troy 42 to 13. Will Howard 21 to 32, 250 yards, three touchdowns, and one INT. But he had two rushing touchdowns. So right there, he's kind of for five touchdowns in this game. Team rushing 38 carries for 147 yards and three TDs. Defensively, four sacks, one pick, one former from recovery, and Khalid Duke had two sacks. So offensively, defensively, solid win for I'm gonna lick the paper here. I'm old school, I do paper. Kansas State. Subscriber School, Oregon State, beat up on UC Davis, 55 to 7. DJ Ogalele. I said that right. 8 of 13 for 107 yards and two touchdowns. This wasn't much of a passing game. Team rushing 37 carries, 269 yards and three. Touchdowns with uh, hold on. I think it was Damian Martinez. Seven carries, 104 yards, and a touchdown. Team defense, three sacks, one pick, one fumble recovery. And Silas Bolden had a 65 yard punt return touchdown. So a solid all around win for Oregon State. Here's a game you should have watched. It was one of the ones we were watching. Number 17, North Carolina against Appalachian State. And our Carolina subscriber school won 40 to 34. The end of that game, regulation. Field goal goes up, goes wide right, but Appalachian State called an intercept, called the timeout. The game was great from the end. You can check out the highlights or get a replay somewhere and watch it. It was a great game. Um, and then they called the timeout, so North Carolina had a chance to do it again and missed again. My son's gone, there's no way they're missing this twice. There's no way they're missing this twice. There's no way. They missed it twice. I'm like, yeah, they did. Wow. And anyway, Drake May has McKenna, 21 to 30, 208 yards, no touchdowns, no INTs. We had a rushing touchdown, but Drake May, a bad performance. Explains why Appalachian State stay close. Team, team rushing, 45 carries, 319 yards, and five touchdowns. That's how they stay in this game. Lamarian Hampton, 26 carries, 234 yards, and three TDs. He was the offense. Defensively, no sacks, no bumper recoveries, one pick. Hmm. That could be a problem for North Carolina in the future. But they got the win. Subscriber school number 18, Oklahoma, against SMU. Well, they won 28 to 11. Hmm. Dylan Gabriel, 19 to 27 for 176 yards, four TDs, no picks. Team rushing 47 carries, 189 yards, no rushing touchdowns. Tawee Walker at 21 carries for 117 yards. Defensively, one sack, one pick, one fumble recovery. You had a one man defense, Oklahoma. Danny Stutzman. I normally don't do this on a stunt line. I did three stats popped out of me. 17 tackles. 17? One sack, one fumble recovery. So he didn't get the pick, but he had the other two featured stats. The only sack and the only fumble recovery. He was your defense. Good boy. <clears throat> Washington. Now we get to three consecutive games of all ranked teams, which don't <clears throat> not such grammar schools. <clears throat> Excuse me. Washington State upsets number 19, Wisconsin, 31 to 22. Number 22, Ole Miss beats number 24, Tulane, 37 to 20. Number 21, Duke beats Lafayette, 42 to 7. <clears throat> and wrong again. But there is, there is, am I the, the Colorado fans are saying, yeah, 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 you're wrong. But I'm like, one thing concerns me, and I'm going to get into it on this, is your offensive line sucks. Been a big win for number 22 Colorado. Subscriber school wins 36 to 14 over Nebraska. Shadur Sanders, 31 of 42 for 393 yards passing, two touchdowns, no INTs, and he had a rushing touchdown. I'll get into Shadur's rushing. Team rushing as a team, 33 carries, 55 yards, two TDs. The offensive line sucks. Shadur Sanders rushing line, 11 carries for minus 30 yards and one touchdown. Nebraska does not have a pass rush. And I had some Colorado fans who were talking to me other, I'm talking about other places, messaging, whatever. 
Come and Nebraska's not got a pass rush. They suck. We gotta have all day and blow them out. That no having pass rush, which I agree with you. They don't have a pass rush. Sack Shadur Sanders eight times. If no pass rush sacks you eight times, what's gonna happen when we play Oregon? UCLA, USC. USC doesn't have a defense, but they got some pass rush. They do better than Nebraska. Oregon State, Washington State, Arizona. Um, you may be having some problems with Shadur may be running for his life. Defensively, two sacks, one pick, three fumble recoveries. That was big. Four turnovers. You're going to win a lot of games doing that. It's a good big win for Colorado over Nebraska. I was wrong, and I admit it. Miami upsets number 23, Texas A&M, 48-37. to I'm surprised. I'll be honest with you. Number 25, Clemson. Last year, beats up on Charleston Southern, 66-17. to Now we're starting with some subscriber school games. Purdue beats Virginia Tech 24 to 17. Houston Card. Hudson Card. Excuse me. Houston Card. Hudson Card. 23 of 34, 248 yards. Didn't have a touchdown or an INT. Team rushing 46 carries, 179 yards, and three touchdowns. Defensively, three sacks, two picks, no bumble recoveries. You got it done. Good win for Pitt, for Purdue. Um <laughs> Utah was a one-point favorite on the road against Northwestern. Northwestern said, hold my beer. Maybe you guys don't drink there, but you said, hold my beer. Northwestern beats up UTEP 38-7. Hello. Ben Bryan, 11-17 for 116 yards. One touchdown, no INTs, but he had a rushing touchdown. Team rushing-wise, we bring that up. 39 carries for 184 yards and three touchdowns. Defensively, four sacks, three picks, no fumble recovery. Xander Mueller had a sack and an interception. All-around great win for Northwestern. I was wrong, but hey, great game. Toledo and Texas Southern. I said Toledo was a team that's going to be something to reckon with. They had the tough loss to Illinois. They took it out on Texas Southern. They beat them 71-3. to Good Lord. Taquan Finn, 16-17. 232 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. And Larry Stevens had two touchdown receptions. Team rushing, 43 carries, 178 yards, five rushing touchdowns. And uh, I think it's... Boone here had three rushing touchdowns defensively. Three sacks, one pick, one fumble recovery. Judge Culpepper. Love the name, Judge Culpepper. Two sacks and the fumble recovery. She had two out of three sacks and the fumble recovery. Big win. Marshall, East Carolina, East Carolina subscriber school. You lost to Marshall 31 to 17. West Virginia, my subscriber school. Gets up against Duquesne. Had a big game. Big win. Wins 56 to 17. Garrett Green, 10 of 18, 240 yards, four touchdowns, no picks. Hudson Clement, five receptions for 177 yards and three TDs. Whew, man, that secondary must have been horrible. Team rushing, 49 carries, 304 yards and four touchdowns. Jaheim White with 12 carries, a buck 10 and, 100, and one touchdown. Defensively, three sacks, two picks, no bumble recovery. Good win for West Virginia. Get you on the right winning track. Subscriber School of North Texas. I'm beginning to think I started being guys. I had a good feeling about you guys. We're doing something. Well, now you're going 0-2. FIU, Florida National, one of the worst teams in college football, beats you 46 to 39. What in the world's happening over there? Well, speaking of games I got wrong, um, I picked Pitt over Cincinnati. Cincinnati said I have other plans. They beat subscriber school Cincinnati beats Pitt 27 to 21. Damn, my nose is itching. Emory Jones, 18 to 26, 175 yards, two touchdowns, one interception. Team rushing wise, 42 carries for 216 yards and a touchdown. And Corey Kiner, please name him Corey Kiner. Correct me if I'm wrong. I say his name wrong, please. 20 carries, 153 yards and one touchdown. Defensively, five sacks, no picks, but they had a fumble recovery. So good win. Came up when they needed it. A big win for Cincinnati. Middle Tennessee State subscriber school. You lost to Missouri. That's not a surprise you lose to Missouri. You lost 23-19. to You only lost by four points from an SEC school. My SEC schools, how in the hell is it the fact that the only Power 5 win for an SEC school belongs to Tennessee because they beat Virginia and Virginia looks like dog? What the hell? Man. Anyway. UCF, Boise State, Boise State Subscriber School. UCF Beach, 18-16. Houston. How the hell do you lose to a food product? You lost to Rice, 43-41. to I'm not going to go into that game, but, man, Rice, wow. Just watch the highlights of that game. That's all i got to say. Wow, watch the highlights. USF subscriber school. You face Florida A&M. You won 38-24. Not exactly impressed. 
Uh, Byron Brown, 20 of 34, 197 yards, three touchdowns, no INTs, but he had two rushing touchdowns, so he counted for five TDs total. Team rushing, 44 carries, 108 yards, and two TDs. Yeah, Byron Brown was the offense. Defensively, four sacks, three picks, two fumble recoveries, five turnovers. That gets it done. And Logan Berryhill had two interceptions, so good win for USF. Memphis and Arkansas State. Memphis had no problem with Arkansas State. Me and my Arkansas State's going to go 1-12. Away. They've been beat up. They win. Memphis beats Arkansas State. Memphis, the subscribers, go beats Arkansas State. 37-3. Seth Hennigan, 21-29. 239 yards. Two touchdowns. No INTs. But he had a rushing touchdown to boot. Three TDs total. Team rushing. 41 carries. 150 yards and two touchdowns. Defensively, three sacks, two picks, two fumble recoveries. Four turnovers. That's good. With DJ Bell getting a 36-yard pick six. Big win for Memphis. Good win there. Minnesota subscriber school against Eastern Michigan. You win 25 to 6. Let's advance the score here. His name. Man, your QB's name, Minnesota. Athan Kayakmanis. I'm saying it. Uh, but anyway, 10 of 15, 117 yards. No touchdowns. But he did have an INT and a rushing touchdown. So only touchdown he contributed was on the ground. Team rushing 56 carries, 296 yards, and two touchdowns. Dennis Taylor, hello, or Darius Taylor, pardon me. Darius Taylor, he was your offense. 33 carries, 193 yards, and a TD. Defensively, four sacks, one pick, no fumble recoveries, and Kyler Ball had two sacks. So, did win for Minnesota over a group of five school. Now we're in the home stretch here. Let me get this done here. Subscriber school matchup, Mississippi State and Arizona. Mississippi State wins 31 to 24. Will Rogers, 13 to 17 for 162 yards. Three touchdowns, no INTs. Nidatrick Griffin. Two touchdown, two touchdown receptions. Team rushing 39 carries for 145 yards and a touchdown. Jaquavius Marks, 25 carries, 123 yards and a TD. Which means the rest of the Mississippi State was 15 carries for 225 yards and no touchdowns. Team defense, one sack, four picks, one fumble recovery. You want to talk about a stat line? Jeff Johnson. Dude, you keep putting this up. You're playing on Sundays for Mississippi State. 11 tackles, two of them for a loss, one sack, two picks. So you had two of the four picks. You were the leading tackler. You had the only sack in the game. You were leading in tackles for a loss, and you have two of the four interceptions. Good Lord. Man, you got to run. Rutgers and Temple. Temple Subscriber School, you got blown out by Rutgers 36-7. Subscriber School matchup again, UCLA and San Diego State. UCLA beat up San Diego State 35-10. Dante Moore 17-27, 290 yards, three touchdowns, no picks. Team rushing, 39 carries, 254 yards, two touchdowns. Team defense, three sacks, three picks, up on recovery. Alex Johnson had two interceptions. Jarius Muasawa, if I say that name right, one pick and a sack. Fresno State and Eastern Washington. Fresno State beats Eastern Washington, 34-31. Woohoo, close game. Mike Keen, 23-39, 233 yards, two touchdowns and a pick. Team rushing, 34 carries, 131 yards and two touchdowns. With Elijah Gilliam, two rushing touchdowns. Team defense, one sack, one pick, one fumble recovery. Close win for Fresno State, but you need to do better. And last game, subscribers to Oklahoma State against Arizona State. 27-15, Oklahoma State wins. Oklahoma State used three quarterbacks in this game. Alan Bowman, Garrett Rangel, and Gunner. Gunner Gundy combined to go 22 of 32, 191 yards and two touchdowns. Yeah, not impressive. Team rushing 31 carries for 113 yards and a touchdown. Defensively, three sacks, one pick, no fumble recoveries. Got the win Oklahoma State, but mm, that could be an issue. All right, we're getting close to the down of the time here. So let me know what you think about this real quick down in the comments. I only got 25 minutes of the video. We're hitting 24 minutes. So thanks, everybody, for watching the video. If you haven't done already, Please smash the like button, hit the thumbs up, it helps with the algorithm, helps the video to be seen by more people. Comment on the video, any of the scores here surprised you. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to the channel. All the way to 500 subscribers, slowly, surely on that crawl up to 1,000 to make some things happen. That's the video for today. I'll be driving all day today. Tomorrow's going to be my top 25. Tuesday's going to be the first subscriber rankings. Because I do them every two weeks, but this is going to have week zero, week one, and week two games. So who's going to be the new number one? Remember the point scale, the top 25. So we'll see what happens. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm saying I'm going to start doing the way this way. If you like the way I'm doing this, let me know in the comments about just doing comp statistics about subscriber schools that win so you don't get the salt rubbed in the wound. Let me know. Please be safe out there. Enjoy your Sunday, and please be good to each other.